What are you doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. She's not garbage. She knows who had that doll. Oh no. Look at them all. Behold the power of the light! Fire Magnati! that little girl. The Guardians of the Galaxy, save the Believers and alert the Grand Unifier. The movement must not be stopped. Oh, no! That's it. We finally snapped. All right, lads. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> but this man is a fearsome dog who feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, and Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery to that man than even I dare ask. All right there, lads, boys and girls of all ages, this here be your host, Reage of Crixus, finally gotten his stream to come out not so distorted to spine Sunday Fundy in our Choose Your Own Adventures, filmed inside this Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This is by voted by many to be the best of all, and I definitely would agree with so. You see at our story completion, we're at 49%, which is phenomenal. See, so we're about halfway down the storyline, but we are not done the content. We have lots to do, lots to find. Do not forget, this is our assassin pirate, Kenway, and he is uncovering all kinds of things, like the legendary ships. Go into the light. Go into the light. I hope the Sunday Fundy is finding you all well. This, of course, is Rock TV Presents. Uh, we are coming at you live this Sunday uh, for as long as we possibly can. Like you, like we, everybody knows, there is a coming a time uh, very soon where we're going to have to change our schedule and formats hey, around Brent. a little bit go uh, to better accommodate well, might you be uh, the changes in my life that i got to make. Because let's face it, i got to make me some money. And this is... Maybe getting popularity, and I'm, the fans that are liking it are absolutely loving it, which is great. But uh, I got to make money. Uh, uh, life in Canada is very expensive. It is all over the news. It is all over the world about how expensive it is in Canada nowadays to just live and survive here. And so my family and I are going to have to make, make a move, and we're going to have to find jobs that are going to be paying a little bit more stable of income. So... In the meantime, and in between time, Excellent. we're going to keep putting out this content to uh, help have ourselves a wonderful time. Let's get to our map, show you where we are, and what we're doing. So you see, uh, we've got the, one of these high legendary ships over here. Every, four, every corner has got a legendary ship in it. So we're not going to get that until we get a lot higher up in uh, power. As you know, the Jackdaw is a great ship. But it still has work to do. So we're going to finish up this little quadrant over here. Get all the goodies. And then we're going to start doing things like this thing. 
and this thing and this thing. We're going to work our way up to the next storyline mission right over here. So we're going to clean up our messes, and we're going to go do that. So first, uh, let's go talk to this guy, and let's go get ourselves a Navy contract. You've been afforded the rare chance of meeting the instrument of righteousness and justice. Oh, this is where we got to find that British man of war. Yeah, so we still want to do that. We'll accept the contract, and then we'll uh, we'll get to it. So, let's get to our awesome ship. Hello, Jackdaw. Hello, crew. Pirate Kenway coming to the board. Got my board, got my boy, got you. So we, uh, let's go find our, where is this ship? He's right over here anyway. So let's go collect these goodies. Let's go do that. Come on. I hope this Sunday is finding you well and you are in good spirits and in good health. Uh, everyone knows that life is damn right friggin' hard. And so finding physical and mental ailments along the way uh, obviously is a damper to everyone's spirits. Speaking of spirits, let's get a sea shanty going on and see if we can't cheer up. A hunter? Chasing me? <laughs> Is that so? Uh, if you've been paying attention to what we were doing the last couple of minutes, uh, we had massive video distortion. So we had to restart our stream and reboot computers and all kinds of stuff. But everything seems to be working now. Don't worry, any kind of distortions and bips and glips we chop out of our edited format that shows up on YouTube. So the YouTube nowadays gets a nice polished view. It's not perfect, like I said, I am an amateur and I'm the first to admit that, but we are getting a lot better. You should see some of the views I'm getting on YouTube nowadays. Oh my word, it is, it is absolutely warming the heart to see. So let's go get ourselves some pirate booty. Pirate booty! Into the crystal blue we go! So that hunter ship that's chasing me probably took down its sails to wait for me to get by so it can come sneak up on me closer. You can do all you want. I showed a couple episodes ago how to take a hunter ship without even using my jackdaw at all. I did it by hand with a couple of berserk darts and some pistols. And that was it. And I took the whole goddamn ship and I got that put as a highlight in my editor's picks on YouTube. As you know, on YouTube, we've got three distinct uh, playlists, kind of like we do on Twitch as well, right? So we've got the Rock TV Presents, which is always awesome and fun. And then, of course, we've got uh, Lost Vault Files, which is part of our No Mic series that we do. Why does it look like this guy's looking? Wind, Why are you looking at me? I don't like you looking at me, you stupid brig. Let's say we take him. We need to get the jacked up upgraded in here, so let's just go and smash this bastard. Get it close. Hit him with some barrels. Boom. Let's go get it. We need the materials anyway. Let's start our day off with some pirate adventure in the West Caribbean Isles. No quarter! Grappling hooks away! Alright boys, let's go. Take them!
Yar! We be taking we the damn pirates. To make the ship stronger, sir. Is that right, Exo? Well, that is a good thing to hear. Okay, so we were looking for pirate booty. Ooh, that's an ally ship. Hmm. Okay. Because remember, the bounty is to take on a man of war. And you just know that this man of war is going to be fully guarded. You know he is. He's going to have lots of ships to help him out. It's going to be one hell of a navy battle. And even though this jackdaw is quite strong, it's not quite strong enough to take on a man of war. Not yet. There be our pirate buddy. I always encourage my fans to uh, try and stay in a positive, uh, positive. Whoa, what's this? What's this? Friggin' it! Hiding in the mist. Always know that the world is an uncertain place, forever changing, quickly changing. So try and keep yourselves in positive spirits. I mean, you can take a, a ride through this life if you want to. You can take it easy and be chill and relax and all that shit. But you're not going to take the edge off the knife. Fred Durst and Limb Biscuit said it the best. Like if you ain't not, if you're not giving it your best every single day, because you only get to live one day at a time. Man. And if you're not giving it your best to learn, adapt grow and and persevere and then you're gonna get swallowed whole by this world and the negativity and hostility that is in it but never forget that no matter how bad this world gets and no matter how hostile your environment may be there's a lot of positivity in this world too a lot of positive growth a lot of changing in attitudes the world itself as a whole because of the internet is getting smarter and smarter each day people are getting more and more intelligent they're understanding things for what they are. Why does that look like a water spout? That doesn't sound good at all. Up. Let's go. So, always grow. Yeah, see, there's a friggin' water spout. We gotta get out of here, like, right now. Goddamn tropical storms. Always grow. Remember, a healthy person should be growing. You should not be doing and thinking and behaving the same way you did five years ago. I bet if you were to look in the mirror, 
and look at your pictures from like 10 years ago as you as a child or even you as a young adult, I bet you wouldn't even recognize yourself anymore. I know I don't. Uh, I, I'm definitely an old man now. I'm not old, old, but I'm definitely older. Another frigate! I, another goddamn water spout, too! Shit! It's literally coming towards us. We're gonna fucking go. Oh, now it's going the other way. God damn. And there's another one coming from behind! We're about to get hit with a water spout! Brace! Brace! Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna Brace calm down. Battle. We're not gonna do nothing until these fucking things leave. Okay, now where's that goddamn thing? It's over here. It's where we're trying to go. But no, Tropical Storm Ike here has got to have ourselves a good time at our expense. I don't think so. As you know, life at sea comes quickly and comes fast. It also leaves just as fast. The world is forever changing, and your life should be ever changing too. You should always be growing and evolving. You shouldn't be trying to stay the same person doing the same things. Unless it's just so friggin' amazing and enlightening that you just, you're always growing. You're always challenging yourself. You're always learning new things. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You should be growing, you should be changing, you should be evolving. Trying new things, learning new things, doing new things, meeting new people, getting new perspectives. I mean, who wants to do the same thing in and out, in and out? That sounds boring as shit. Got it. I mean, there are periods of your life where you're building something great, or you're learning something. So there's going to be times where you just, it feels like you're not going anywhere or doing nothing. But trust me, uh, growth takes time. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with your friends and family. Because they will not understand everything that you are trying to do. They just, they just won't get it. You know what I mean? Okay, so we'll get this chest at the same time as find that man of war and see if we can't do something along the way. I mean, it's encouraging to see all my fans uh, commenting on my YouTube pages and on Twitch telling me to keep going, keep learning, keep growing. I, I love seeing that kind of stuff. I know I get discouraged and I get insecure just like everybody else. And it's, uh, it's nice to see that I, my work is being appreciated. It is nice to see. I know I sound all full of piss and vinegar and like my life is going great. And, 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 and you know what? There was a time when it was. It was doing just that. It was going great. Uh, but times changed, right? Uh, Canada is forever changing. And what we're going through is constantly changing as well. I'm going to go help out this pirate guy. We're going to take out this guy. Yeah, bring it right now. Boom. Drop down. Oh, smoke him. Ready to box, Alright, let's do it!
There you go. That's how you take out a frigate. That's two frigates. It's lots of wood. Lots of metal. Metal's good. Repair. Metal is what you need to upgrade your hulls. It's what you need to upgrade your broadside cannons. Makes your mortars more powerful. Literally, like, you need it. Okay, we'll get that treasure chest. Down to the briny deep you go, friggin' scum. Metal ni 98 metal. Want that ship? I want it. This obviously being our episode 10 of this amazing series. Uh, obviously, it looks like we're gonna get some. Uh, we're gonna get some uh, volumes on this sucker. So, but I'm fine with all that. Take out the mast! Smash him! Boom! Oh. Right side! Front side kick! Scuttle him! Now you're gonna probably say, how come I didn't use my mortars? Because I'm saving my mortars for that mana war fight. That's gonna be a real blast. Ooh, I took out that cannon with the captain with that. Oh, I got him. Nice. This ancestor did not kill civilians. Well, uh, I didn't know if I was killing civilians. I thought I was taking a brig, so shut up. Look at that. 98. I like that. Lower wanted level. Will you sign, Will you sign on, on, lads? I bet we can improve the ship. I bet. Every last scrap of duck on the way. First we go find this treasure. Get ourselves some booty. What's going on over there? Bring it! <gasps> He's got heavy shot. Hmm. Actually might want to take him out. First I get the treasure chest. Then I worry about taking out that guy. Actually, what's going on? Oh, he's, he's got so many backups. Three Briggs and that guy. Uh-oh. Shit. That's the dude. That's the guy we gotta sink. Shit. All right, looks like we're doing it. First we take out the frigate. Maybe not, we're not close enough to take out the frigate. We did. We wiped out that goddamn ships. Ooh, look at that. Boom. See, our mortars do wicked damage nowadays. Get those clues up. Right. Line them up. Take them down, boys. Take a powder keg. What? Yeah. 
shoot that guy right in the fucking head. He didn't last. Tally ho! Yeah, episode 10. Right. Kill him by doing that. Boom! Dead. Dead.
That's how you do it there, fans. That's how you do it! Airship! Okay. Oh, there's that man of war! We gotta get out of here now! Tuck it around. See, he's trying to get me with mortars, too. Sink this ship even ten to four. <laughs> That's funny, dude. We just took out a man of war. Are you kidding me? I guess we're ready to start taking out some serious ships. So we'll take this guy out. Then we'll uh, take this guy out. And then we'll upgrade the ship and see if we can't start taking maybe a legendary ship out. Because not all the legendary ships are like super tough to do. Okay, so we got to kill the captain, kill the crew. I don't like what the fuck he's doing here. Why the hell did he do this? Get over here! Ooh! Ooh, look at that! Fuck is he too far away? What? The hell you mean he's too far away? We gotta get over there before I run out of dudes. If I can get closer. Can I shoot you in the head now? Oh, yes, I can. Now he's too far away. Can you believe it? Okay. Reload. Fascinate. Stand. Reload. Let's go. Let's take a that cap. Oh, that takes care of you! Of course you're gonna hit me when I'm in mid -boot. Of course you are. Expect nothing else, you skyly dog.
Blind we justice, you say, huh? All right, all right, I'm gonna upgrade your ship. Calm your tits. I'm coming. Let's go. Let's go, look. New episode, maybe we should put on a new outfit. Governor's clothes? Well, let's do it. Let's be a fine governor on this day. gotta get this here chest so let's go do that captain's home unfurl mains let's move unfurl mains You fans ever seen a humpback whale before? Up close and personal? Try hunting it with a harpoon? It's been a long time since I've done it. Let's go see if we could do it. A humpback whale. Let's go see. Let's go see. Ready the whale boat, lads. He's over there. <laughs> Steady now, lads. See that, lads? Yeah. Watch it! The tail! Ha! Got him! No, 
Nice one! Grand shot at the rope! Any sighting? I took it down pretty good. Gotta look for white in the water. Like right here. See that, lads? Success! Get him before he snaps! Nice one! Line. The grand shot! The base oh. is dead! Got him! Oh, all right. yeah. Look at that, I got him! Look at the size of oh, Let's go over here. Let's go do that. Sally Brown, she's the gal for me. that one bit. That's the thing about these British frigates, right? They uh, they got really good medals. They're very powerful, actually. Good, good, good. Good! Boom! Boom! Okay. Okay, where's my fucking sword? Okay, let's go have some fun. I got crew from it too. Good. Take it. So I've given you fans a little over two hours today before my next shift so we can get ourselves some really good missions going on. Dose the gallants and royals. Holy shit. Whales everywhere. going up and around.
Area not available, not available at open conflict. I'm in an open conflict? Oh. What? This guy wants to fight? Surely you jest. <laughs> Boom! Hit him with the broadside cannon! Okay, so I'm not in combat now, so can I go? Where is that? Oh, it's Kingston. I don't want to go to Kingston. Ooh, says there's a contract here. Did you know there was a contract here? Maybe we'll just go do that instead. Come on! Let's go check it out. Hope this Sunday is finding you well, nonetheless. Okay. Since we're here, we might as well fill up on you require. I need bullets. You got bullets? Bullets would be good. My right. fair winds favor you. Start mission. A valiant countryman and close personal friend has lost to a wicked British captain sink his ship to defiance. Very well. Sinking ships is what we like to do. Right, pirate friends. Captain yeah, let's go. And according to this, he's just like around the corner or something. So let's go have a look-see. Brig. Brig, brig, brig. That's the defiance. That's what we're looking for. Let's go get him. Drop out of warp. Hit him with the mortars. I always aim my mortars a little ahead so they can literally run into them as they're coming. Let's hit him with the broadside. See if we can cut him right in half. Broadside cannon! Crap boys. Lure pull them into their death. Kill officers, kill crew. Right. One. That's two. Hey, stop chopping my shit. Move. Okay, I got lots of bullets. Yeah, fucking what now? Great. Can't see anything other than die. Shit. Reload. Right, now we'll go back in and we'll shoot. Give up, you scurvy dogs. Give up!
Okay, mission complete. Right. Now, back to finding sunken treasure. That's what I was trying to do before I got so rudely interrupted. Let's go. Add out some sail. Grease the topsail. Why does it keep telling me to go that way? It's over fucking here. Like, I gotta go right. Get off the wind! Muzzle that duck, my dude! Oh, say was you ever in Rio Grande? Away to Rio! It's there that the river brings down gold and sand, and we're down for the Rio Grande. Beautiful day out here, though, nonetheless. I hope the weather is nice wherever you are. I know it is a beautiful, warm fall day here up in Calgary, Canada. I mean, despite how expensive it is here in Canada, uh, it's still a beautiful place. Still not at war like other countries are. Like Israel, I guess, is now going to war. Russia is obviously at war with Ukraine. China's trying to take Taiwan. Blah, 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 blah. Everybody's killing everybody, right? Greed, greed, greed. It's always what it's about. War is always about greed. It's because they want to start and take somebody else's stuff, or someone's defending someone taking their stuff. The war has only ever, ever been about greed and how much you can profit from it. When you've got a thing like the military-industrial complex like the United States does, uh, it is very profitable to have war and to instigate war. I've never been a fan of war. I've seen it up close and personal in Afghanistan. I thought it was disgusting and terrible how people are treating one another. But that's my own personal opinion. Then again, I know lots of people that like to talk about war and glorify war. But if you've never seen it up close and personal and seen the ramifications and the devastation caused from it, you would never understand. You would never understand. You guys don't want to fucking do that. You're going to want to leave me alone like right now. Son of a bitch. Did you get me being a shithead? <gasps> Look at that. Oh, this is where that cadaver is. That's right. We needed to come back and do this. Are you still chasing me? What the fuck are you talking about? Sweep the yards off the way. Dose the top suits. Get them along. Can I can I not do this now? No, you're insistent on coming after me. Look, like you're dumb. What the fuck is that? Whoa, I'm the real Nazi. Oh, oh great. Okay. You run into my barrels then. Run into my barrels! Right sick and tired of these goons. I'm trying to be a scavenger. I'm not trying to beat the shit out of you. Goddamn. Idiots. Ooh! You're finished! Drag them to that dude! You're wasting my episode! I'm trying to be a treasure hunter! God damn it! Damn it! Oh! I got him as they were coming out from below deck! <laughs> they didn't stand a chance! Didn't stand a chance. Well, that's what you get for trying to start a fight with me, you stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Friggin' AI. Just no consideration whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna go cut that other ship in half. He's just a tiny guy, so he ain't really gonna have much in him anyway. So we'll cut him in half with this huge blade I got on front of my ship. We'll just tear to pieces. Brace! Boom! Shorten sail! Get off the squall! Stupid son.
son of a bitch. You see that glint? Did you see that glint right there in the, in the, on the cliff face? That's, that's where it's telling you you gotta go. Like I said, there's a... Uh, there's obviously something here. This is where the cadaver is. This is where you're a hunter. What? Tell him to piss off. I'm trying to be a treasure hunter. That's right. Let's do it. Three chests, two fragments, and some secrets. Ooh. Right, so let's go. Let me Whoa. tell you something about war. War ain't always about fighting. Blood, bullets, death. Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. But it sure as hell ain't all of it. Sometimes it's about knowing when to turn tail. <laughs> Run your fucking ass off. This is it, people. Saddle up. Storm's about to hit. Obviously, I can't go there, so let's, like, not do that. Okay, I'm gonna go get me some air again. Fuck, he's right there. Okay. How to do this? There's such a chest over here. It's right there. Rum. Okay, so that's one of them. I better hurry up, though. I'm running out of air. Air pocket. Too far, bro. Too far, go. Too far. Up, 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 up. Uh, I don't think I can go any. This is just air. Okay, soon. This is an Abstergo fragment over here. There! Good, good. Gotta get moving before that shark comes back. Too far. Too far. Right. How do I have no darts? What the fuck are you talking about? No darts, no bombs, no nothing. Well, that's stupid. Man, this whole place looks unstable as shit. I don't 
like this. This whole place crawls. Whoop! Takes care of you. I don't like how you're treating him. Feed the shark. Hey, buddy. You gonna be okay? I don't think he is. Okay, so obviously there's something over there. Ooh, this guy had a fucking axe. What? Now I have an axe. Now I have an axe. Like that one bit. <laughs> hey, yeah. Gotta go. Whee! Is Lee Harvey Oswald that guy right in the head? <laughs> He's like, what's going on? Man, you're getting shot. That's what's going on. <gasps> Cadaver. Good, good. Good, good. Uh oh. Shit! He saw me now! Monkey. Cheeky. Hmm. Gotta do this. Gotta get up this rope. Take out this buddy over here. That worked out way better than I thought it was gonna. Just shoot the powder keg. Hilarious. Hilarious. Okay, so... If I go up, that's where the exit is, but I still gotta get that one... Sturgo map. No, no. Down. Down. Where the hell is it? 
know it's here. See, it's right there. So how do I get to it? Yo, my man. He's just standing there. He's like, yeah, I'm just going to take the beats. Because I'm a man. I'm like, eh, I don't think so. Is that the only powder keg? Are you kidding? And I used it to blow up the dudes. I bet you if I used it to blow this up. Hmm. What to do? Is this guy still alive? <laughs> well, not anymore he's not. Not anymore he's not. I bet you needed the powder keg to blow up the damn door so you could get in there. Unless there's an underground tunnel somewhere, but I didn't see it. Let's go up. Let's go see what we can see. No, this is the way out. No need to be here. There's gotta be a way in. Bet you've got something to do. Shut your mouth. Let's go this way. No, this is where we were. We were here already, right? Yeah. So let's go this way. nothing this way. See nothing. Do you see something? That's just gonna bug the shit out of me if I don't get it now. God damn it, why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated? Oh, you know why? Cause it's Ubisoft, and Ubisoft games does not make games for kids. They make games for real thinking adults. They use that gray matter of yours. I 
Now the guy's gone. So what I think I gotta do is I gotta come back in here and I gotta use that powder keg to blow up the side here so I can get it. Whoa, what's this? Dig? There's a treasure map here? What? Look at that. So it's not a complete loss. That's cool. What I get? Four thousand bucks. I love it. God damn it. All right, fine. Hmm, what to do? So, if I'm docked here... Can I go down again? No. I have to enter the sequence to go back inside. God damn it! Yeah, I think that's exactly what I gotta do. I gotta use that powder keg to blow open the panel so I can get in there. That's the only thing that makes sense. Now that that guy's not there, maybe I can do this. So we'll get back on the ship. All right. Now we'll dock here again. And we'll go back inside. See if we can't find an... Uh, yeah, use that powder keg. We'll use the powder keg, we'll blow it up. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. Do you like hearing uh, fans getting involved with the show? Giving shout-outs, secrets? Uh, speaking of secrets, uh, you know on Tuesday's Tales to Astonish, right? We uh, we started doing Star Wars The Force Unleashed, right? So we're on our second... We did just filmed our second episode, which was awesome. Right? And then... Uh, I think the shark is still here. And then we found out on YouTube that that exact same Tales to Astonish is actually got multiple endings. <gasps> Is that a shark? Gotta go. Gotta go. This way. This way! So yeah, looks like Tuesday's Tales to Astonish is gonna have a couple of endings. So we're gonna try and explore that. We're gonna try and explore that. Yep, that fucking shark is still there, all right. Air pocket. And of course, you heard that on uh, Thursday, we're starting a whole new theme, getting fans, getting fans ready for, uh, for our gears uh, when Unreal Tournament 3 is done, right? Hey, do you think that's where I gotta go? Okay. Whoa, where are we? Were we here before? Yeah, we were. Yeah, so we're gonna do a horde takeover on TNA Thursday, starting Thursday. So if any of you awesome fans want to get involved in the filming of that horde match, uh, you gotta hit me up on the DMs on our social links and say, Hey man, I'd love to film an episode of Gears 3 Horde with you so we can film that for prosperity and let the fans on YouTube just relish in the carnage and gore that is Gears of War. And obviously after we get done the third one, then the next week we'll do Gears of War 4 Horde. And then we'll do uh, Gears 5 Horde. We'll do all that stuff. Gears, we'll do Horde mode in Gears 3, 4, and 5. Did you give me a powder keg? Yes, you did! Okay, so do we want to go in from the back way or the front way? Pick it up. We all know that horde mode is uh, one of those awesome things. 
Okay, now we gotta find ourselves a gun. Think there's any guns in here? There was last time. Swords. Swords. Yo, torch, can I use you? Shit. <gasps> There's my rifle. There it is. Okay. It's got one bullet in it. Oh, there's another gun. Good. Okay, let's try it. See if we can pull it. Man, that's some strong wood. How did that not work? Son of a bitch. What did I have to blow up? This one? Can't be it. All that shit for nothing? Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm missing something. Mm. What to do? What's that? Why does that look like a secret tunnel? What's this? Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, I think I found it. I think I found it! Success! Hoogie! Up the ladder. And we found the treasure that was in here too. So now we actually don't have to cut back here at all. Which is good. Because I know me, I don't like doing my work twice. I like to do it once in one shot. Call me a perfectionist if you will. I don't care. Name calling does not bother me. I don't let words destroy me anymore. I used to let the opinions of others hurt me. And then I realized that those people I would never go to for counsel. So why do you listen to people that you would never go to counsel for to begin with? See, they can take their opinions and they can shove them right square up there. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Out here before we get shot down. Oh God! I'm gonna go over that air base? Are you kidding me? Come on, let's go have ourselves an adventure. Choose your own adventure. Four thousand clicks away. Surely you just. Bully down in Shinko now. Sally's 
Whoa, look at the fight that's going on here. Looks like the British are fighting the Spanish yet again. Hey, don't you engage me. I don't want to be involved in your war. Stop shooting me. Oh, it's the hunter. Uh, let's see if he likes those. That hunter can go get bent. Get stuffed, buddy. Give him some more barrels to play around with. Is he still chasing me? See if he runs into the barrels. Nope. The barrels actually disappear. Oh, looks like the hunter's losing interest. <laughs> Good. Bugger out. And go below to your old ditty box. Rock can shake one more drag. Oh, Ben, you done. That guy still chasing me. What? The Davenport. A brig on top of it all. A brig? What's a brig gonna do to me? Jack Daw can take down Man of Wars now. There we go. That's the guy we're looking for. Okay. We'll drop out of that. We'll hit him with the mortar. Boop. Ooh, that got real good. We aim in front. Smoke up. Let's go finish out taking out the convoy. It's like the hunter's coming after me again. <laughs> Boom! Who's this guy? Convoy's what I want. Fire! Look, Captain, we'll place the fire! Keep us safe, friends! Ready to fire, sir! All safe, ain't Captain! All sail! All sail! Now firing, sir! Brace yourself! Ready now! Hold down! Hold down! Reel them in, me truck! Okay, boys! Hook them! Pull them! We'll get ourselves a convoy. These convoys, if you can take them full and not destroy it by cutting it in half, you can get really, really good rewards. Really good rewards. Okay. So, swords, guns, ooh, smoke bomb. Let's go do it. Stop shooting my buddies! Chop, chop. Whoa! 
That's really good. That's really good. 3,000 bucks? That's actually not that big of a deal. Okay. So now we go take out that convoy. Or that garrison. It's only a one, uh, one star. So we should be able to take it with ease. Oh, is that guy still Fire! doing his thing? I thought we were done with him. Up, oh, we are now. Care of that frigate. Okay, so we'll pull up alongside. Brace yourself for vision! Hold him in. Okay, so if we can take out some powder. Right, that worked out. I took out his friend. And that takes him out. Takes you out. And we hit him in the past. Which will take out a whole bunch of guys. Gotta love splash damage. Night this fucking thing up. We run! Yo, start stabbing, dude! Right, so he's just gonna rock around with his sheep going. <laughs> stupid ass. Three more guys here. Easy peasy. Wood, sugar, heavy shot, fire barrels, lower wanted level. Piss off. I could use some good men. Now, you obviously saw the, saw the third part where it said you could send to Kenway's fleet. But as you've known from the last two, three episodes, uh, that whole server apparently has been shut down. Because I can't do none of that. None of my access to the fleet is even available, which is dumb. But this game, like I said, is very, very old. I mean, at, at least a decade old. So, uh, it makes sense that a lot of these things would just not exist anymore. The world is a changing. Nice little ship we got here, though, eh? The Jack Dow. Uh, I was able to do it for one episode, and then it just stopped working. <laughs> this game originally came out on the Xbox 360, which I've had, like, forever. I still have it, but it's cool because a lot of the games from the 360 are now getting uh, revisioned and remastered and reaccessed via the Xbox One. I actually found a good nine titles that I had that are now open and available to play on the Xbox One from my Xbox 360 discs, which is going to be so cool. I cannot wait to do that. There it is. Okay, are we close enough? I think we need to get within 500 meters to start unleashing mortars, so... Here we go. I agree. It was a good shot. 
That one's nice. Six vulnerable there, Captain. Frontside cannons! I was taking a shot! Ready to bomb! I don't count the wrong place from there! Fire! Dose the gallons and boil! Easy peasy. There they go. Got okay, to so now we gotta take that fort. Where's access? We're all we're right there. We're right there. Good stuff. Swim us off the Doc, wind. Get us in there, boys. I'll do the rest by hand. Just over here. Where? Where's this? It says it's right here. Oh, it's right here. You're dead. Shut up. There go, fragment. Right. Well, if you were trying to mount an offensive, consider that failed. <laughs> oh, holy shit, there's stuff blowing up all over the place. Good, good, good. Good. Two chests. And I got one bullet left. Dios Santo, tenga piedad. What'd you say to me? Shut your mouth. Yar, another garrison for us. See? Bing, 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 bing. Opens up all these extra chests. And Abstergo fragments, all this extra loot. <gasps> There's a cave. I like that. We should go do it. Come on. Let's go. <gasps> There's a damn thing down here. Okay, so let's get some ammo. Buy ammunition. These mortars, man, I tell you, as long as you can line them up, they do ridiculous damage. They will be the make or break of your entire thing. Yo, man, you got a contract? Find this cargo and I shall ensure it is disposed of in safe and proper manner. Except, give loot to merchant. Well, I've got that, so that's done. Easy peasy. <laughs> Be a pirate, you said, huh? All right, I'm a pirate, all right. Now, uh, remember, fans, this is an Assassin's Creed game. And it is a story within a story. Because it's not just a matter of 
you being the assassin Who's pirate the king. Assassin's Creed actually takes place Who's as a old? memory Pop sequence in a pirate game being developed by Abstergo. Abstergo Entertainment, which is uh, a company that uh, is reading genetic memory off of uh, volunteers. So they get their blood sample, and from that blood sample, they can pull off the genetic uh, memories from the DNA sequence. That's how they do it. And the reason why we get to do this is because the host, the host here is actually a descendant of Kenway. It's literally how it works. And so there's a secondary story where you've got to hack computers inside the Abstergo uh, business and then, uh, and then you find out another story inside a story. That's the whole thing about Assassin's Creed. It's not just the learning about the assassins. It's learning about the company who's trying to find out uh, how to get the secret artifacts left over from an alien civilization that was here long before humans came around. Humans have only been discovering the technology. And then, of course, trying to learn how to use it. And that's what this storyline is all about, right? Is this assassin, Kenway, discovered something. And, of course, as we're learning from, uh, from the assassins that are here in this timeline, and, of course, James Kidd, there's something called an observatory. And there's a sage there who can use that observatory to find these ancient artifacts worth an immense amount of money and value to the Abstergo company because they can find these ancient alien artifacts to make their business more profitable. Because remember, it's always about control. It's always about control. They want to control how people think, work, act. Essentially, instead of having free living and free thinking human beings are capable of their own free will and volition, they want to control that. So only they get to do it. Another convoy, what? We should take it. We should take it. Are you giving me a guy to be homies with? Cool. Okay, and there's another guy over here, so I think I'm just gonna go hop over here and then run over and give him a hand. Look at that. I got me another buddy. Hey, buddy. You wanna shoot some dudes? Like, yeah, I totally want to shoot some dudes. All right, you go shoot some dudes. Maybe you blow his arm off? That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, blow his arm right off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Stand a chance. My magic stump, your blood will flow. Great. Oops, looks like I sunk Thanks all of it. <laughs> that was a really powerful volley. I didn't think it was going to be so powerful. The jackdaw is getting quite the frickin' powerhouse nowadays. For sale, all sale. Starboard covered. Floating booty there for the taking, sir. Trim the yards off the wind. Gotta go to that cave. Gotta get to that cave. Well, you to you Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu to your ladies. Nice sunny day. Good day to be a pirate. Calm seas, good crew, good rum. What more does a pirate need? See? See that glinting off in the, in the distance there? It's trying to tell us, hey man, you should come over here and check this shit out. Very well. Find the smuggler's chest. That's pretty easy.
Let's go. Oh. I can't wait to get into Assassin's Origins with you fans. Uh, Assassin's Origins, Assassin's Creed Origins is absolutely stunning. Uh, Odyssey was really good too. Because Odyssey started taking a page out of Bioware's book. And Bioware had a way of changing the storyline based on what you did in the game. It would change the outcome of what went on. Pretty damn rad, actually. <gasps> Look at that. Okay, so we got pirates over there. Pirate over here. We're gonna take this guy quick. It's, it's unfortunate that my life has got to make the changes that it does. But change is necessary for growth, as I've always said. See you. There be all kinds of pirates over here. Me, huh? Whoa! Uh now I got all kinds of shit going on. Okay, gotta go. Smoke bomb. Oh, that's great. I don't have any smoke bombs. Yeah, what are you gonna do when you do? Come on! Oh, you're fucking dead now. Now there's an Abstergo fragment here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you? I gotta be somewhere. There it is. Okay, so that takes care of that. You goddamn jigaboo. Four upgrades available in the captain's quarters. Be a chest. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, it says I got berserk darts. We should use it on him. Oop. Stop. There's a marmot. You see it? See you. What's this guy's problem? Damn marmot. I saw it down here. Where did it run? Oops. Wrong one. That's what I wanted to do. Go kill your. There's a trick of treasure here! I didn't even realize it until it said, dig here. I'm like, what? What do you mean, dig here? Four thousand bucks. I like it. So, I berserked the one guy, and I slept the other guy, and they didn't do anything. So well, that's not really cool. Boop. Boop. 
Right, so that takes care of all of that. You guys go to bed. And I'll kick you in the balls. We got here. Treasure! Treasure! Good, good, good. Because it's over here. Good. Hey, you see that? Says there's a... What's this? What's that and how do I get to it? Ooh, go this way. I'm gonna get my brand new outfit all soggy. Nice. Message in a bottle. Ooh, boy. That sounds like a really heartbroken letter. I don't like how any of that looks or sounds. Okay, see jackdaw time. Boop, boop. Good stuff. Okay, so now that that's all done, remember we wanted to get to the main mission, so maybe we should go and do that. Devil's Advocate. Let's go check it out, we got a little bit of time. Let's get started and Hang see up, what we can do. Go. All in the stun zone! Trim off the wind! Man, if you think this uh, Choose Your Own Adventure storyline has been a lot of fun, you should have been there for our uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. That, was, that took us six months to do, 30 episodes, and that was how we started off our Sunday Fun Day uh, Choose Your Own Adventures. Uh, still done in its raw form. And uh, it is all on YouTube as well. That is an epic storyline. And it made it also more unique because I got to do it in the Predator gear that I bought years ago. And then I found out that they got rid of the Predator mission uh, that came with that gear because the licensing ran out. So I may not have been able to do the Predator mission for you fans, but at least I got to do the whole series in this Predator gear. It was sick as shit. You get to see the heat vision, you had the claws, the masks, the face paint. I was even able to put my team in Predator gear as well. It was so rad. And it's definitely for the uh, mature adult fans. If you, if, uh, if you don't like squeamish and dark, dark material, you're gonna want to stay away from it. But it was a, a very, very dark tale about how a, a drug cartel infiltrates and takes over Bolivia, and then you, as a special forces unit of four people, uh, go in to help out the rebels fighting them and the corrupt Unidad uh, military forces that were brought in to stop El Sueño's crew. And, it, and you wind up trying to free the entire country from the grip of El Sueño's drug cartel and what they've been doing to everyone in Bolivia. It's an epic storyline, it, it is amazing. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. I'm so glad I got to film that series, especially with the gear on that I did. Just made it look, oh, so goddamn cool. <laughs> We've been doing this uh, streaming thing for about uh, since January, since January 1. Uh, we started it to uh, to help my daughter with her adventure into this world as well. This is what she wanted to do. She wanted to be a, a YouTuber and a channel, a content creator. 
and uh, she started off and did a really good job. I devoted this entire series to her because she's a huge pirate fan. Of course, this is obviously the uh, Walt Disney, Johnny Depp version, and not the gory, uh, realistic version that uh, Ubisoft did here in Assassin's Creed. Because <laughs> as you well know from history, pirates are not good people. They're actually quite villainous. And uh, it's been a whole lot of fun doing all kinds of series. Like, we started with the four shows, and then we added a fifth one in the fall. Ooh, look at that moonlight. Started a fifth one, our Wednesday's Wide World of Wrestling, which has now become our most popular show. Uh, wrestling has got huge draws. Uh, I've got this one uh, video I did. It's got now a thousand views. A thousand. I would love to have a thousand fans right now. Because if I had a thousand fans, I'd be making this money on YouTube. I'd be making money already, and I wouldn't have to get another damn job. But what are you going to do? And it's really cool too to see because uh, because of the analytics of Twitch and YouTube, I can see, you know, who's watching and why and how long and so on and so forth. And my content is being watched literally all over the world. From all over the world, I've got fans now, all over Europe and Africa and Asia and Russia and South America and Brazil. Man, this shit is being seen everywhere by people, and I love it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm a man of the people, I'm a fan of the people as well. Humans uh, have always inspired me and intrigued me. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, humans are friggin' fantastic. Uh, you just when you get them in, in a group, you know, they start wearing armbands, they start wearing hats, they start telling people what to do, and trying to control people, and that's when the real problem comes. But humans, one-on-one, -on -one, can't be beat. They're pretty amazing stuff. Start mission. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Open fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? He's still searching for medicines, but he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. All right. Rescue survivors. Aloft, lads. Check Locate the Queen Anne's revenge. Okay. Who's this guy? Frigate. Two frigates. Crowd on every inch of sail. Holy shit! Almost ran head into it. A lot of mist out here on the sea Captain, today. There's a, wreck a lot of mist. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Brig. Another bit oh. of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Shipwreck Jack Blast. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come back. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold and this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best course for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. If we found the observatory, We'd see enough money to buy the whole of England, or it might be. We'd Looks like Blackbeard has gotten sick and tired of waiting. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew? He started attacking ships on his own now. The mighty Blackbeard. You saw us uh, encounter him last week. He was showcasing his new talents. Oh, there's somebody over here. Come on, we need to save five sailors. Come on. Okay, so we did the up. Uh, we did that. That's good. 
Dark skies and rough seas there. Man, there be some freaking wind out here. We'll get this chest since we're here. Pirate booty. the Queen Anne's revenge. Larboard, Captain. Shipwreck survivor. Dose all but me. Man, it is dark as shit in here. Where's this guy? Oh, I see something. What's that? Is that our guy? Frigate, port's mouth. Oh, it's a restoration. Good thing this ship is so goddamn fast, eh? Oh, I think I saw him. We're gonna go in behind this ship. There it is. Ade, see that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a vote. Thatch is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads! We're sailing into hell! Back off, us out of the water! Men coming for you! Mind the helm, sir. You will break us apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're leaving. Taps. We're leaving right now. Try and get on the other side of the island. Get away from these guys. If it comes down to it, then I guess we'll hit them with the mortars. Alright, guy fucking wants to go, so let's go! Fire! Fire! 
Oh, we hit him so well. Ooh, we're gonna trade blows. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so now we're gonna use that ship to heal up, and we'll go get the black. You know, I was being nice about it. I didn't want to start a fight. But no, no. You gotta be a real stick in the mud, huh? All right. <laughs> so that's not gonna work. Okay. Uh. That takes care of the one guy. Yo, climb! What? I don't want to pick him up, I want his gun. Oh, it's gonna reload. Alright, thank you. Come on, get the musket gun. See you. Okay. Let me reload. He's got a pretty good shot. I think I can hit that powder keg down there. Probably. Hurt some of my guys, but... It's gonna happen. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Alright, let's get down there. Give him a hand. Well, oh, that's not working. That's not working, cat. This'll work. Ooh. Yeah, fucking what now? Let's go into the briny blue. You guys bring the ship around, and I'll uh, I'll go over there and do what I got to do. Looks like this particular island I've already been here. At least it sure looks like that. Okay, let's get to it. Blackbeard be needing a hand, they say. Okay, what does it see? Kill guard stunned by smoke bombs. Do I have smoke bombs? I got one. So I gotta get him in the group. Oh. Fuck off! Get the hell out of here! I only had one goddamn smoke bomb! Of trouble, batch. In service of an old yeah, shit. Medicines, I hope you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang in there, bonnet. Keep your arms up and you're back to the sea. Know your book learning. Prepare your first stuff of this sort, Mr. Bonnet. First 
certain there's more to be learned by doing than reading. Remember! Rob! Do you, Thatch? Hey, fellas. There. Dude, what the shit? Heads up! Board the man of war. What? Problem is, this guy doesn't have mortars. I gotta use Blackbeard's shitty ship. God damn it. God damn it, this ship sucks ass! Look, Captain, the whole place sucks down! This ship sucks anywhere. so much ass! I actually gotta leave the fucking battle! I'm hit brace and brace isn't doing nothing. He's got no mortars. All he's got is broadside cannons. Oh my god. Blackbeard, why you got such a shitty ship? Grounded all on. Like he doesn't even have full gusting sail. Like he's a literally Warship. got the Bounce shittiest it. ship That's in the, the fucking war, world. Sir. Colors are English. They're all alone, sir. All in the stunts. Almost ready, sir. Hello, yeah. out of your sight. What do you mean almost ready? You need to be ready, ready, like right now. Cannon ready. ready. Got a sack tight. Look at that. I even Fire. hit him Fire. fucking Fire. full on. I can't Fire. 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 It takes these guys so long to do this. So long. She's God, oh, this shit sucks. Queen Anne's revenge my ass. Sucks compared to the Jackdaw. So I gotta fucking get up there somehow. Oop. You can't outrun me. Yeah. So yeah, this is stupid. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Damnation seize my soul if I get you quarter! 
reload. Kill the captain. What? Find the captain and end this, Kenway. Oh yeah. You got this, eh? Sun-dried, just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Meet me in Charlestown. One month from today. I had one smoke bomb and it wasn't enough because the goddamn grenade went off and fucking blew me off. <laughs> Too funny. All right. That, dear friends, I think is going to call her quits. Uh, it's just a little over two hours. It wound up being a pretty damn good episode nonetheless. We obviously got ourselves a whole bunch of stuff we unlocked. Did all kinds of fun stuff. So, uh, we're going to bid you all a fond Move farewell. Thank you so through. very much for checking us out on this amazing Sunday fun day. Choose your own adventure storyline that we film here in the Assassin's Creed Black Flag 4 universe. This has been our Pirate's Log with Captain Kenway and Rage of Crixus. Uh, Rock TV Presents obviously brings this every time, and we'll invite you to our next stream where we're going to get into episode three of our Tuesday's Tales to Astonish, which, of course, we're filming in the Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And you'll know that Star Killer, Darth Vader's secret apprentice, is now up to his eyeballs in his missions, assignments, and trying to stay hidden from the Emperor's uh, all-encompassing gaze. You know, the Empire is very strong, and they, uh, they believe Starkiller is dead and Darth Vader's once more in the, in the, in the Emperor's hands. So we'll see what happens with that. So uh, thank you very much for checking us out live, uh, raw, and uh, all that stuff, and chat-friendly. This will show up in YouTube in seven days, chopped up and edited for everyone's fan-favorite thing. So thank you very much for checking us out on this awesome day. I shall bid you all a fond farewell from the seas of the West Caribbean Isles with Captain Kenway. Bye for now. Come back.